Welcome to the awards race special at the beautiful Eglinton Grand Theatre. This year, we're showcasing the Academy Award nominees for Best Actress, Best Actor, and Best Picture. And stay tuned for a contest you won't want to miss. Can you believe this is the 90th Academy Awards already? I know, it's crazy. It's going to be a really tight competition. Who do you think is going to take it for Best Actress? It's going to be a close call on this one. We have some veterans like Meryl Streep up against some relative newcomers like Saoirse Ronan, Sally Hawkins for Shape of Water. That's 13 nominations for that film, so there's one right there. But maybe it'll be Margot Robbie. She's got the dramatic performance down, she's got the comedic performance. You're crying, you're laughing. What kind of friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee? She also plays Tanya Harding and I, Tanya, from 15 to 46 years old. So that says something right there. Very impressive. I'm going to have to give my vote to Frances McDormand who is so, so memorable as Mildred Hayes in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I can't see another actress stepping into that role. She is so good in it. If I had some food, I'd give it to you. All I got is some Doritos. They might kill you. They're kind of pointy. Then where would we be? And how about Best Actor? What are your thoughts on this category? Oh, gosh, this is a really tough category. I mean, all five nominees giving us such unique performances. I'm going to have to go with Daniel Day-Lewis. It was so nice to see him back on the silver screen. It might be his last time as an actor. I hope it's not true, but if it is, I mean, he just blows it out of the water as this renowned women's fashion designer and phantom thread. It's right because it's right. Because it's beautiful. He could just come back and then maybe he was just acting when he said that. Maybe. Right? You never know. <laughs> you never know. But when it comes to performance, it's got to be Gary Oldman. He really dove into this role as Winston Churchill. You, you know, in a lot more than what we just read in textbooks. We got to see the personal side of this character as well. And then the physical transformation too. This guy got in that makeup chair every morning and really became this character. So I think he's got to take it for Darkest Hour. Getting the job only because the ship is sinking. It's not a gift, it's revenge. All right, it's time for the big one. Who do you think will win Best Picture? Ooh, this is definitely a big year for movies. Nine strong films here from Get Out to Dunkirk with Christopher Nolan. But maybe it'll be Shape of Water. This one had the most nominations this year. When he looks at me, he doesn't know how I am incomplete. And it was shot here in Toronto, Canada, so you got to support the home team. That's true. I would love to see Lady Bird take this one home. It's not just a coming-of-age story. I mean, it's unapologetic. It's hilarious. It's relatable. You are so infuriated. Please stop yelling. I'm not yelling. Oh, it's oh, perfect. Do you love it? It'd be nice to see Greta Gerwig win her first Oscar. But I think it's going to come down to three billboards. Martin McDonough gives us such a memorable and original screenplay. They deserve it. It's going to be a big night. I'm excited. Me too. For all our awards race coverage, go to cineplex.com slash awards race. And be sure to enter our Pick the Winners contest for a chance to win 25,000 scene points and more great prizes. Join us Oscar night as we celebrate another year of great movies. <laughs>